Hey guys, welcome, I'm Andrea. Today we're gonna talk about this um, foundation from La Bella Donna. It is not very known in the uh, industry. It's an Italian, um, Italian brand. Well, the name says it all too, but it's uh, very known uh, through dermatology. So if you look at dermatologists recommended, this is one of them. Also, um, what is the other one that they recommend that you can actually buy? I'll have to put it down. It's just the name, name escapes me so badly, um, but it's like really recommended for sensitive skin and for um, sunscreens and all that. And they have a powder that is really, really good for the same reasons that this one is good, which is uh, if you have sensitive skin, if you had um, things that uh, bother your skin and you still want to be protected and want to put something on, then they recommend this one. This is a mineral um, sunscreen powder. It's a, well, it's a loose mineral foundation and I have it in, this, in, the, um, um, in the shade Nicoletta. Um, it's right there. I don't know if you can read that, but I've had it for a little bit and it's actually it's actually lasting for quite a while. And uh, I just wanna do a review of it in case you were just interested in um, how it actually does. Now, I have a lot of kick out, out there, so I'm gonna <laughs> try to do it to where it's not too much because it's been upside down. So uh, I'm gonna start, I already have my sunscreen on. Actually, I'm testing two of these sunscreens, um, these two. So we'll actually see how it actually does with two uh, different ones. Because what you put underneath your uh, foundation or whatever it is that you put as coloring, um, it, it, will, it will influence what you put on top. So it will influence your uh, foundation. So I'm gonna use these Bye Bye Pores Powder number 701 from um, It Cosmetics. It was one of those QVC um, purchases. Actually a very good purchase. And just pretty much buffing it in here. And I'm gonna take as much as I need as I go. I usually start in the middle of my face because that's where I have the most redness. And this one doesn't have, it's shades, it's shedding. <laughs> this one doesn't have too, too much of coverage, but it's definitely plenty. And if you just need this right there, poop. Ooh, don't breathe that in. Um, if you just wanted to uh, like set your sunscreen and all that, this will do too. And it also has added sunscreen. So sometimes when I, um, after a few hours with the normal sunscreen underneath uh, and I need to go outside to run for something, then I'll just dust this up on top and then I'm good to go because it has sunscreen, F, um, sunscreen um, SPF 50. It's really, really good and it's broad spectrum. It is a mineral, but it also has bismuth, um, chl chlor hold on, let's see. It's called bismuth oxychloride and iron oxides. That's pretty much all the ingredients in there. It's uh, micronized titanium dioxide in 15%, then zinc oxide in 24%, which is huge. And then the uh, inactive, which is iron oxides, like I said, and bismuth oxychloride. So that that's all that is. And that's why actually it's, sorry for shaking. That's why it's actually recommended by dermatologists because the less ingredients um, and the more mineral, the powder, the, the more your face, your skin will actually uh, accept it and not be reactive to it. So I'm gonna take just a tiny bit more for my forehead. You can see how it actually looks. Looks really nice actually. Um, it's got, it's not, it's not matte. It's like a satin matte uh, foundation and it's really, um, it really just gives your face just a kind of like a blurred look and um, it's just really nice to have something to really be able to use any time of any day and not worry about um, ingredients, you know. Now, if you're allergic to bis bismuth oxychloride, then stay away from it. If not, then yeah, but this is, um, <laughs> this is 
this is a pricey item. It's quite pricey. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I got it on, I got a hair. I got it on, I think it was 4th, not 4th. I always mix 4th of July with Black Friday for some reason, has nothing to do with it. But I got it for um, Black Friday with a bunch of coupons and actually I got two colors, which one I gifted. So I bought, not I got, I bought it. So I'm gonna actually go, hmm, look at that. Already settling. I'm gonna go on top and then also underneath on my um, under eye area. Every time that I use a powder foundation, I go underneath with that um, foundation because, do we see the difference? Because it just, it just makes sense, you know? And most of the times the powder foundations have enough coverage to take care of discoloration. And if it doesn't, then I'm still okay with that. Listen, we're people, yeah? We don't have to eradicate everything. Just enhance what you have as much as you want, and then we're good, you know? All right, that was actually pretty easy and fast. I have some um, pimples here, so I'm gonna just double it on that, the coverage. It's actually doing really nice as far as coveraging, coverage goes. I'm gonna take it on my finger though, so I can Focus it right there, right here. Hmm, I like that. Okay, there's nothing that this can do about the shadow that it creates and about the plumpiness of the pimple, but as far as color goes, I think it did really good. So, the only thing that I want to do is just go around like these just to kind of bring the color down and not have it just on one um, demarcation line, you know. So color wise, I think it's pretty good. Um, the color that I had before was a little darker. So that's, that's why I ordered two of them when I placed my order because I wasn't sure. And it's so hard to pick online and this you cannot find in stores. I'm not sure if you can find it at like dermatologists or like spas or all that, but definitely not in stores, nor Sephora, nothing like that. So anyways, um, this is how it actually looks with just a powder foundation on top of the sunscreen. The sunscreens were tinted to a certain degree, but um, I think it's really doing really nice. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the whole makeup and then we'll, I'll come back and we'll see how it actually looks with all. It's been about 15 minutes since I put the foundation on and then I just did the rest of my face. So let's look how everything looks on top. Um, I think it looks really good. I'm not seeing anything really, I can see <laughs> fall off from my mascara that I can see. Um, but it's, it's looking nice. Everything blended good. Um, it hasn't really, um, bunched up or anything. The coverage is still there. Um, yeah, everything seems to be really looking nice. Um, hasn't really gathered maybe a little bit here in my nose crevice more than here, more here than here. Um, but other than that, it seems like it's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of shoot this. Um, there. Mascara flakes off. Just so I can actually see properly and not get distracted. The coverage underneath my eyes is still looking nice. Uh, and it's been 15 minutes, so it's really not had time to actually mess too much, but it looks really luminous. It looks um, not oily, just luminous. So far, so good. Uh, I'll come back in about three to four hours um, just to kind of show you what it did throughout the day, and then we'll do another check-in at the end of the day. So stay tuned. So, um, 
It's been at least about five hours. I'll have to actually do the count and see when I took the footage first and uh, put it on the screen. But <laughs> uh, we went school shopping for supplies and um, it turned into a big, long trip with a bunch of stuff and over $200 later, because you know, that's how it is. <laughs> um, we're back. So needless to say, I wasn't able to do a check-in earlier so we're gonna look now so let's see the actual my nose is itching uh, so let's see the actual look of the foundation and how it actually wore in this about five hours like I said I'll put the thing in but um, it is luminous um, it is quite um, quite luminous but um, it looks nice so um with with it being luminous like this and with it kind of like breaking down a little bit here um it still looks nice i have had glasses on when i was driving um so you can see here and here uh more on this side than on this side and that's probably because of the um sunscreen that i have underneath and i'll check in with the other one but um yeah it's um, definitely looking still nice. I, um, I've, I've worn it many, many times, but I have not worn it in like heat like these. Um, you can hear my attic fan, still hot outside. Not as hot as I thought it would be. Actually, I thought it was gonna be, no, um, I gotta rectify that. Um, it's actually hotter than what I thought it was gonna be because it was supposed to be in the 70s and it is not in the 70s. But, you know, summertime in Michigan doesn't really mean anything. Um, so um, I'm going to just go like this. Luminous. I'm not sure if you can even tell like that. But it is luminous. A um, little oily. Not too much, though. I'm uh, really actually surprised because I have not messed with it at all. I've ate and uh really hot in the car ac in the stores but lot 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 of heat in the car especially as we were in the in the stores um of course heat accumulates in the car and it was really hot for the driving but yeah i really like how it were i'm i'm i like doing this not just for you guys but also for me let me fix my hair but just for, also for me because um i get to see how it how it wears and then you know i know what to wear when to wear when i need stuff for different um occasions so i still have my bronzer and some of my blush um and uh everything else on my eyes because i put it down there too up there too so yeah um whatever hours in looking good still um i would probably blot if i were to go outside again it's quite quite like in the afternoon i don't think i'm gonna go out again but uh, i am going to still wear it until tonight and then i'll let you know how it actually wore the whole day but man guys it really is nice uh, i'm pleasantly surprised i should say because i wasn't expecting it to wear that good so yeah i'm uh, i'm really really happy with it so I will see you at the end of the night. Okay, guys, bye. Hey guys, it is 9.30 and this is how the sun, not the sunscreen, the um, uh, foundation is looking. So I have uh, two different sunscreens on each side, but on both of them were pretty much the same. Um, I'm gonna go in kind of close to my... Okay, so like I thought, I'm gonna show you kind of close here. My nose up here, it gathered a bit and so did it up here a little bit. So, but both sides look pretty much the same. There's a little breaking down of the foundation, mostly on the nose. It is shiny. Um, it's not really oily. It is shiny, more so, I don't know if it will focus. And if you can even tell, it is more so on the T-zone, of course, not much on the sides. Um, I still have my bronzer in some of the sun, um, some of the um, blush. Oh my gosh, it's 9.30 and I still am. Anyways, <laughs> um, 
bronzer still is there i can see it um on my forehead too and then just a tiny bit of blush i can see a little difference there not much left but the coverage is still there you guys and it's been a lot of hours in a lot of um errands yes you can tell it's like quite but even when i wipe it it's still like shining and all that also the sunscreen that i have underneath are like contributing to this glow and so yeah i actually think that the, sun, the um powder foundation were really really nice and i really like how it held up throughout the day like the coverage is nice and whatever it is worn which is like mostly here not much man i just usually it it like really breaks down in the middle of my face because that's where my oily skin is and you can see it really oily right now or luminous but it's not really broken down you know how like some foundations break down and they just kind of gather up and they collect into one spot this one did not do any of that so i'm really um really happy that i have actually tried it during the summer because i have not worn it during the summer i've worn it before and i didn't know how it actually um, held up so I'm actually really glad because now that I know I can just you know wear more often uh, in the summer and underneath the eyes I have it as well and you can tell that the coverage kind of have gotten has gotten off a bit kind of worn off but I'm still having coverage and I'm still having um, a nice wear up there hasn't really made my um, uh, eyeshadow uh, collect you know because usually collects in there in that little ridge there but no um i think it really really wore nicely so yeah guys this concludes my review uh, in case you were wondering about the la bella donna um, powder foundation now you know how it actually looks or you've seen how it wears throughout the day with oily t-zone and just regular um you know sides just normal skin so um this is it for me. I'm gonna go wash my face and then go to put the girls to bed. So I will sign off right now and I'll see you guys next time. Up until then, you guys take care. Bye.